Okay. I've never really done a video like this, so hopefully, uh, hope it looks and sounds okay. Um, gonna try to get through this as best I can. Um, just a warning up front. This is some, some very heavy subject matters, some, some difficult material to get through. Um, just, just be warned as we go into this. I'm gonna see if I can get it done in, uh, in one shot. Um, I don't know how many takes I can actually, uh, do of this. Um, just so we have some context, uh, we're going to be talking about, um, we, we were discussing in the, the Saturday Zoom call, um, where we talk about Torah things and, you know, uh, understanding more about, uh, uh, God's world and his word. Um, and the context was seeing the Israelites fail and falter and stubbornly refuse to follow um, any of God's word in spite of being directly there in front of the miracles. Um, how many things they saw that, that Yahweh came down and spoke to them directly. And they said, nope, no more of that. We, we don't want none of that. That there was a cloud in the sky for them to follow during the day that was a light for them at night. Um, that they, they walked the Red Sea. You know, before walking on water was all hip and cool, they were walking where the sea used to be. The, the, to them, that was the largest, you know, body of water on the planet. Uh, and they just casually got across it. Um, and yet, Moshe stepped away for a minute and uh, comes back and, and what, what are you doing? You're, you're worshiping these false idols and false gods. Um, we're going to change tracks for a minute, kind of a hard, hard left turn here. And this is where we're really going to get into the, the difficult materials here. Um, while we were deployed to Afghanistan in 2010, um, which feels like, you know, lifetimes ago, um, we, we got word in Afghanistan and, and communications were difficult for us for a little while. We, could, we couldn't figure out what was going on. And then they let us know that there had been a, um, a suicide of one of our new Marines who had shown up to the unit. And, uh, and this just kind of blew us away because here we are in a war zone and the unit we were with was, uh, was one meth and they're, you know, sitting on the beach at, uh, at San Diego um, you know, Camp Pendleton, uh, at, at our command, which was a two minute jog from a private beach where we could all go swimming or, or volleyball, you know, what, whatever you want to do on the beach. And, you know, this, this job of that Marine was sitting behind a desk at a, at a cushy office job in San Diego. And, um, this young Marine, um, took their own life. And, uh, obviously this is upsetting to everyone, but in particular, a couple of the, you know, young brash Marines reacted very, very hostile to this, um, calling it, you know, the most selfish act in the world, um, a, a permanent solution for, or a temporary problem, um, and the one that really kind of got me was, I would never be so stupid. Um, and it, re it really kind of took me back and I, and I had to go, no, no. Uh, I, I got into some heated arguments um, with that person. I'll, I'll come to that in a minute. 
But the lesson I want to take away from that, back to the, the Israelites or, or other situations where we see people falter, is don't. Don't put yourself in that other person's sandals. You're not them. I'm not them. We aren't them. And thank God for that. Praise Yahweh that we are not in their situations. And equally so, that they are not in ours. You and I are not built for that. Um, when we listen to the parable of the talents, that tells us a bunch of things. There's a lot to glean from that. And not just, hey, go make sure you're working your talents. It also tells us that when the master has stepped away, you don't get the same number of talents. You don't get the same quality of talents. It's not fair. By design, it's built that way. You don't have the talents that somebody else does. And, and the way that I discussed this with that Marine is I, I had a phrase that uh, uh, I, I don't often use, but it was that other people's skeletons in their closets could eat you alive. And we need to be, we need to be mindful of that. We need to reckon, recognize and reconcile that you're not me. And I'm not you. And I can't walk your path. And you probably can't walk mine. I, I'm not saying I'm more difficult or special or anything like that. I'm saying we're all difficult and special. And our talents are specifically for the path that we are on. And we have to recognize that. You and I can't look at these other people with no other historical context or anything else to know about what happened to these people and say, oh, man, that's plain as day, you know. Uh, we, we are armchair quarterbacking uh, somebody else's lives, and, and we got to stop. Um, don't, don't be the person who says that I would have done better. That, that's when we're getting dangerously arrogant. Um, so just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so, some folks heard that and said it was uh, uh, like a meaty sermon. So um, just wanted to share. Um, yeah, uh, other people's skeletons in their closets would eat you alive. And we have to remember that. And we have to, because of that, praise God, to praise Yahweh, because we are in the position that we are in, and be thankful that we are not in somebody else's shoes, like that young Marine. Take care.